Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to manually add, uh, update your Samsung Galaxy S20 FE via Adin. Adin is a special program for your um, computer that will let you to let you manually update your phone. But first, before we do that, um, <clears throat> you need to know what firmware you currently have. So go to your phone. Remember that manually updating your firmware will erase all the data on your phone. So um, it's worth backing up or stuff like that, right? Um, so so you don't have a problem with it. Uh, now. Um, on our phone, uh, we should uh, first of all uh, sign out of the Google account so we avoid any problems later with the factory reset protection and the Google account verification after 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 doing all the stuff. So go to accounts and backup, then manage accounts, and uh, if there's any, any Google account, then sign out of it. Now, um, let's go to about phone and go to software information. And now you'll see baseband version. And in baseband version, at the beginning, it's gonna be your phone model. So, so in my case, it's actually you can zoom in for you. Um, in my case, the model, hold on a second. Uh, the model is uh, G781B. Uh, then there's double X. Then there's either S or U. That it doesn't matter whether it's S or U. It can be either of them. Uh, you can see it is uh, right, right here. The S or U. As I said, it doesn't matter. And then after that S or U, there is a letter or a number. And now um, it's gonna make a big, big difference because uh, depending on what number you have here, um, it goes in order right so it goes from one to nine then when numbers end uh, when there's no more numbers there's nine and you know what else uh, what then there's a b c d e f g right so it just goes uh, on and on so in my case it's h so we could translate it to 17 but we don't need to translate it it's just h right so it's for sure n a newer version than g for sure newer version than d newer than a newer than nine newer than eight or seven or one right so if we were to update it we could only update it um, to a newer version than h and as for now as i'm recording it in 2025 uh, in at the beginning of uh, september there's no newer version there may be a newer version in the future as, as you're watching it i'm still gonna show you how to do it but you can only update it to either the same version that's currently there or a newer one so i will need to get the version h because in my case there's no newer one but um, if there's if you're watching it and there's already i or j or k then of course you can uh, update it to that or if you have an older version currently like for example version 8 um, now we're gonna get to a browser on our computer uh, so I'm gonna get that to our computer and now uh, we should get to first hard reset dot info and now go to download then da find two downloads first Samsung and find uh, this one with this photo Samsung drivers then click on download uh, now also go to Adin you can see there's Adin and we should get the newest version which is 3.14.4 uh, wait a moment until it gets downloaded okay is it getting okay I need to click on it and um, now we're gonna also get to a different website um, to get our firmware okay so as i said we'll need to get the firmware so uh, you should just type in the model of your phone uh, it's as we have in software information in my case it is a g7 
A1B, but of course in your case it might be different, then you can just type firmware. And I'm gonna open this website, the SAMFW, because it's just a website that I know of and that it, I know it downloads quickly. Um, so yeah. Now we're gonna have different, different, lots of different things here. So it is best if you just go to your phone and scroll down to service provider software version. And you can see in my case, it says OPV a lot of times here. So I know it's the OPV. But of course it can be anything else, honestly. Like for example, you know, if I type in Poland, then I'm gonna have the OPV, PLS, PRT. These are different versions of different carriers that are uh, in Poland. You know, they have their custom version of the software. Like for example, you know, an animation on boot up of the phone with their logo or some special app from them. And the XCO, which in this case is gonna be the clean version without any carrier. I'm gonna select OPV because I have OPV here. And now you can see for some letters like D, for example, there are two different versions. And of course you can get the newer one, but uh, for my version, which is H, and I cannot get any newer because there's no newer version currently, <coughs> I will need to download the H. But as I said, if you, for example, have version four and want to update to the newest one, just get the newer version. Um, you just can't get the older version because it won't work at all. You cannot downgrade below the current version of the bootloader, okay? So I'm gonna click on that. Now I'm here, you can see we have everything well. It's the H, it's the OPV. And I'm gonna click on this link. You can click on either the um, magenta one or the gray one. I'll select the magenta link. And now uh, we can simply um, wait until it gets downloaded. Uh, I actually um, have it already downloaded, uh, but yeah, you should just click on download and then it's gonna start downloading. I'm gonna cancel it because I have it already downloaded and I just don't wanna take my storage unnecessarily. But yeah, we are here, it's there, it's done. Uh, now you should go to the file explorer, go to downloads and first we need to unpack the files. So I have the, my Samsung drivers and you know it's a seven zip file. So in order to open it, you'll need a program, either seven zip, dot org seven dash zip dot org or win dot dash rar dot com like that just either of those install it and then you'll be able to just right click on the seven zip file and then find either winrar or seven zip and select extract two it's gonna extract that file and now we can go into it open the exe file in it. Now, if you have this info, click on yes. And now it's gonna open the installation. So uh, you can just click on next a few times, then install. I already have it installed, so I'm gonna cancel. Uh, and then after that, it is worth restarting your computer to make sure it'll work. Um, now you can also go back to downloads, find the Adin program, right click on it, WinRAR or 7-zip and extract uh, two. And it's gonna extract Adin. Now we're gonna also extract our Samsung file. Uh, now I'll actually need to make sure because this, this one here, this file is the, uh, you can see U1, so it's not for me. And this one is the H, so it's for me, it's gonna work. Uh, let's right click on it, WinRAR, and extract too. I already have it extracted, so I'll just, uh, now I have the Samsung drivers installed. Let's go to Adin, so just go to Adin folder, go to Adin again, and then find Adin exe. Then click on OK. And now we are in, we are in the pro program, right? You should now turn your phone off by pressing and holding on power and volume down. 
then tapping on power off and tapping on it again. And now get your cable ready, a cable that you'll use to connect the phone to the computer. Now it's important to notice that not all cables are built the same and some cables may not support data transfer and your cable must support data transfer. So um, you should just get a cable uh, that can, I don't know, transfer a photo, whatever. Uh, some cheaper cables will only charge your phone without transferring the data, so that's why I'm mentioning it. If it doesn't work, then there's a high chance that you either didn't install Samsung drivers, haven't uh, restarted the computer after installing Samsung drivers, or have a wrong cable. Now, before plugging it in, start pressing and holding on volume up and volume down at the same time and while doing so plug in the USB-C cable and keep on holding volume up and volume down until this screen shows up on your phone. Now when there's this warning click on volume up and now you're in the download mode. Adin, if everything was correct, uh, correctly configured, will show your phone on the list. It'll be either here in ID0 or somewhere else. Here you can see it's this like blue com, like it says number, colon, and then com something, right? So uh, now if it works like that, then it's great. We can just click on BL, select the go to um, downloads, go to the correct folder so it's gonna be the one with the H because I have two different ones um, because I was recording a video showing the error that happens uh, you know with the incorrect uh, version being uh, being selected so yeah I have the folder and now let's select the BL file then click on open wait a moment it's successful let's click on AP select AP version and click on the, the file that begins with AP and click on open. Wait a moment, the AP file will take a bit longer than the other ones, so I'm just gonna get back to you in a moment. Now when AP file is added, go to CP, select the file that begins with CP, wait a moment, then go to CSC and find the file CSC. No, not home CSC, just CSC and click on open. Now wait a moment, uh, and now it's all added, so click on start. If you've selected the correct version, it'll start loading and this bar right here will turn green in a moment. So I'm gonna get back to you when that file turns green. When that bar, not file, <laughs> turns green. Okay, you can see it's almost done. So the phone uh, will automatically start restarting um, shortly okay uh, now we can unplug the cable and um, basically it'll be uh, now restarting as I said uh, so let's wait I'm gonna get back to when it's restarted and now as you can see it is done so you can set up your phone and uh, I hope that this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.